Hi everyone, in this video, let's discuss on balance control account. What is balance control account? When we set up a balance control account, system will help you to identify the balance for that ledger account from the same transaction page. You don't need to run additional report to see the balance for that transaction. So let's begin on the setup and let's see how the process works. So, the first setup is to create balance control account. So go to modules, general ledger, chart of accounts, accounts, balance control accounts. So before creating a balance control accounts, let's take an example. Let's say bank account. So bank account is something where you want to know the transaction like bank balance before posting a particular transaction for bank. So let's click new, select the main account from the bank. So select the drop down, select the bank account for which the balance needs to be checked. Select that and click on save. So this is all the setup that is required for the balance control account. Now let's see how the transaction works. So Let's take one expense transaction and see how the balance control setup works. So go to general ledger, journal entries, journal journals, click new, select the journal name, go to lines. So let's post one expense transaction. So select the main account. So select the amount, let's say $100, select the offset account here, I'll select the bank, click on the offset account, select the offset account, bank, once the account is selected, to check the balance of this account, click on enquiries and select balance control account, balance control. Once you click on the balance control, here we can see the ledger. Uh, since I selected uh, the bank, here the amount is updated on the bank. If you select it as a ledger, you can see here it is a ledger. Now, in the bank, if you see, I have newly created the bank account and therefore there is no previous transaction posted. Hence, the before journal balance is zero. The current transaction is $100, which is a credit amount. So after posting this transaction, my bank balance will be minus 100. There are no other unposted transactions and therefore other journals balance is also zero. And after other journals, the current transaction will is what will be reflecting in after other journals because there is no other journals. So close. So this is how the balance control works. So let's post the transaction. Click post. So, this is what the balance control account setup works. Now, people will have another question that we see when we go to general ledger, or main accounts, 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 main accounts. So we see another setup in the main account called as balance control. So here, when you select main account, we see another setup for balance control. So let's see how this setup works. Click on edit. So here, you see two options. One is debit, another one is credit. So what this setup does is when you select debit, that means whenever you're posting a payment transactions for bank, the bank should have a debit balance. Similarly, when you select credit, when you're posting a transaction, then the bank should have credit balance in order to post the transactions. So let's see how this setup works. So for, an, uh, for understanding purpose, let's select debit and save. So before posting the transaction, let's see what the trial balance has, whether the bank has the debit balance or the credit balance. Okay, so just click calculate balance. Okay, so here, if I see my bank account, it has a credit transactions of 100, it's a credit balance now. Uh, in the setup, if what I set up is 
the main account uh, in the setup what I did is that the bank account should have a debit transaction in order to make a payment so now I have a credit balance so let's now try to post a transaction and see the system behavior so go to journal modules journal entry for posting the GL transactions so journal entry journal journals click new Select the journal name, go to lines, so let's select one expense and then offset account as bank to make the payment. So I am selecting an expense account, enter an amount on the debit side, Android. so let's select the offset account as bank, select the offset account. bank now click on inquiries click on balance control so here if you see my bank as minus 100 as we saw in the trial balance the transaction amount also is a negative amount but if you remember in the main account setup we made it as the bank should have a debit balance in order to post the transaction so let's try to post this transaction and see the system behavior so click on post so if you see here there is an error message let's read the error message it says the requirement for debit balance is selected for account one zero but this is violated by voucher so as you see here the bank account as a credit balance whereas in the main account setup what we have done is the bank should have a debit balance in order to post a transaction since we have a credit balance system is not allowing you to post a transaction so that's how the setup works once uh, you know if we have if we have made a uh, debit balance as a mandatory in the balance control main account setup Then the bank should have a debit balance in order to post a payment So how do we get the balance to uh, I mean the bank balance to debit is by posting an income entry So let's post an income entry instead of an expense entry Let me change this to income entry. So select something from the income side Wait, received. Oh. So I'll change this to like $500 on the credit side. So $500 on the credit side, uh, offset account bank. Now let's try to post the transaction. So click on post. So since I posted a credit side, that's an income entry. Now the system allowed to post the transaction. So now if you see the trial balance, refresh now if you see here now the bank has a debit balance now if you try to post a payment transaction then the system will allow you to post a transaction so let's quickly do that go to general ledger or journal entries so click new select the journal name go to lines okay so select the expense so now you can give any amount let's say hundred dollars so select the offset account here as a bank select the bank account now you can click on inquiries balance control so now if we see the bank has a debit balance of 400 the transaction amount is 100 and after journal the bank balance will be 300 now as per this setup that we did in the main account the bank should have only debit balance in order to post and payment transactions now the bank has a debit balance so now let's post the transactions so the transaction is now posted so this is a uh, this is about the balance control account so there are two setup one is where you go to general ledger balance control accounts here so the accounts that we select here 
will allow you to check the balance before posting the transaction whereas the balance control setup here in the main account will enable us to select whether you need a debit balance to post the transaction or the credit balance to post the transaction. So this is how the balance control works in Dynamics FNW. That's it for the video. Thank you.